David Outdoor 74. Let's create free electricity. Oh my God. It's so hot. I wish I could have free energy so I could cool myself down. I'm hot. What is there to do? Can someone help me? So if that's you baking in the sun, spending money that you don't have, build a biogas digester and have it free, like myself. I got cool air. If I can use the heat and make hot water. So I can actually take a shower while um you know I could have the air conditioner running upstairs. Uh, and then just heating hot water. And then I can take a shower with that, have an out, outdoor uh, shower, and be all free. All right, we lost our generator. We're gonna fix that. There we go, back going. Yep, life is rough. So this is all just proof of concept, obviously, this little setup I've got going here and there. But a smarter and wiser person, they're pretty handy. You could design something like this. Dirt cheap, really. I mean, I got that generator over there for 20 bucks on Craigslist about two years ago. The IBC tank there, you can get that for 50 bucks. Um, I would do two of them instead of what I did. I've got a 55 gallon and a 25 gallon digester. I would just do two big. Um, IBC totes, and that would be plenty enough uh, biogas for whatever you want to do, really. Um, or you could just keep adding on do three or four tanks. Uh, you gotta make sure you got the food waste, and then uh, you, could, you could generate four or five hours or six hours of uh, biogas with, you know, in your backyard, and you utilize it all the time. You don't have to um, store so much. You can keep utilizing it. You know, you could have a generator running every day for a few hours at a time. You're still cutting your electricity bill by doing it. That's the whole thing is just um, cut your bill down a little bit. You, you, to run a full house on something like this, you really have to have a better setup. You'd have to have probably five, six digesters, lots of food intake going in, you know, use animal uh, manure or whatnot. So I'm kind of relying on pressure from way up there to come way down here. And again, that motor is sucking the gas out of the line. I could turn the pump on and speed it up more, but I've got to have a good, good run right now. I don't want the motor to get too hot. All right, so I'm approaching about an hour and about close to an hour of the storage I have for my little setup. Basically, one of those big biogas bags give me about an hour, so I'm going to get five or six of those babies. That's a lot of biogas, but yeah, you could uh, run a generator for quite a while off your food scraps. David Outdoor 74. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. Like this huge for me, please. To answer my friend from all that heat and electricity expenses, biogas. Very simple. I've got the most beautiful fan run free off last night's dinner. Look. Free. So you sit there and you bake. So you sit there and you cook your little hiney with those meat. I'm cooling down with biogas. You're right, I should have made a biogas digester and made free electricity, but I didn't. I'm gonna... That would have been a true event where you were too hot because you were paying too much electricity. I'm very sorry. Because I don't have to. <laughs> so the whole concept with these biogas digesters is that you have a storm or something like that, you lose power for a few days, you got biogas, you can cook down it, you can heat hot water, you can do everything you want. Biomethane, biogas, um, whatever you need. David Outdoor 74, why pay? It's free.